The ERC funding really changed my research career and really is something I'm extremely grateful to have been lucky enough to have got because it allows researchers the freedom to take lines of research in whatever direction you like. Serendipitous findings, you can probe that little bit further, find out that little bit more about what's going on. The project is called Tempest G and it's all about how we can use patterns of sensory information, whether that be something we pick up through our eyes, through our ears, how can the brain use that information to move better or to move in different ways. In terms of the sport, the real interest is trying to understand decision making in, in real game contexts. What we did was turn to technology that would allow us to control what a player would see in a game context. Do they have extra perceptual abilities or have they developed movement skills that allow them to respond in a different way than we can? We've been working with Ulster Rugby for the last 10 years. They've been very kind to send their elite players to us so we can really understand their decision making. Now that we understand it, we feel that we can profile it and we also feel that we can augment it. That offer them new opportunities to train the brain in a new way, something that doesn't currently exist in the world. We're currently looking to potentially spin out a company that would take our scientific know-how and develop this powerful technology that would use virtual reality to create in-game context, but have a powerful action analytics engine underpinning that that allows us to draw out meaningful data about what players are actually doing.